Cloiso, and welcome back to Antarctics. Today we're going to be having a look at our conservation project for the Formica rufa species and show you our setup for the in-store colony that we're going to use to demonstrate the practicalities of them in the wild. So, what we needed to create was something very special, something with pine or spruce that they could use the needles to create and craft their nest. And that is exactly what we've done here. We've created a natural environment where the formica can create their home amongst the other living critters on the forest floor. Using natural mosses, inside here we have plenty of springtails, isopods, centipedes and other little critters that you would find on the forest floor out here in our wonderful British woodland. Here. You can see we've decorated it as closely as we can to the grounds in which we're going to reintroduce all of our colonies later on. Our store colony was picked at random and has Formica Fusca host workers in it, as well as plenty of brood and Formica Rufa workers as well. These colonies have joined us from a conservation project we're doing with Swansea University. Dr. Wendy Harris and us are working very hard to raise and reintroduce 40 colonies of Rufa being a red list endangered species they're very close to being threatened within the UK and plantations across Wales and other parts of the UK have seen colonies of Formica severely decline over time. Every colony of Formica Rufa that we sell ultimately goes to aiding and helping the project continue. It's costing us money to feed these colonies and raise them to a point of release into the wild. So, with every Formica Rufa colony that we share with the public, we also contribute that money to the funding of the conservation project itself. Now, however, we'll let you enjoy the colony moving in and the footage that we took watching the queen run out of the tube and then gradually make her way back in to be cared for by her workers. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching, and if you would like to help support our project in any way, please visit antantics.wales forward slash Rufa project. You'd find useful information on how you can help us keep this conservation project going.